Number 11. A lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today we're going to talk about the finder window. The finder window is that first little item on your dock. When you click on it, you see that you have all your folders, files, and locations that you need to get to that you store your files in. So the finder window is really nice because it can be customized. And we talked earlier this week about how to make your items over on the left bigger and smaller. That can be found in your System Preferences folder. However, there's some other things that we can do to customize this window. So what you'll want to do is come up to Finder and click on Preferences. In the Preferences folder, you have several different tabs. The first tab is General. Now, we can do several things in the General tab. We can show the file name extensions, which can be helpful if you need to know what if it's a JPEG or a GIF, that kind of thing. We can show warnings before changing an extension, so if we tend to change extensions to make it work with something else, we can have it pop up a warning. Um, this is good in case you have small kids, sometimes they accidentally change names of things to begin with. So if you have this warning menu, it'll pop up before it actually changes for good. We have the show warning before emptying the trash. So that's always a good little reminder in case you have stuff in the trash that you wanted to save. It'll pop up a reminder just to tell you that you are getting rid of everything. And the last is to empty the trash securely so that um, important documents are completely gone when you empty it. <coughs> At the bottom here, you have when performing a search. It's going to search the entire Mac Macintosh machine. But you can also have it just search the current folder you're in, or you can have it search the previous search scope, which, depending on how you're searching, it'll search what, how you searched last. So I have mine set up to search the whole Mac. However, you can come in quickly and change that if need be. That's right here under the advanced bar. I apologize, I was not under general. So under the general are the are a couple things that you might find important. The first one is to show things on the desktop. So the hard disk, you'll notice when I click that, my hard drive actually shows up on here. I don't want my hard drive on the desktop, but you may actually want it on there for a reason if you're trying to load stuff onto your machine. So you may just turn it on for a few minutes or whatever. The next one is external disks. So if I have a thumb drive that I plug into my computer, I want it to show up on my desktop. A lot of times this is defaulted to be off and you'll plug in your thumb drive and you can't find it. It won't show up here on the desktop, it won't show up down here, and this is where you change that. Again, we got here by going to Finder and Preferences. The next one is CDs and DVDs and iPods. So when you put one in or you plug one in, if you want it to show up on the desktop, check that. Connected servers is the last one. <clears throat> the next one, if you want your new finder windows to show the desktop when you open it up, it'll you'll have that option to change what it shows actually when you open it. If you always want to open folders in a new window, so if I click on a folder and I want a new window to pop up, I'll have that checked. And the fi finally, the spring-loaded folders and windows. <clears throat> this is um, if you wanted to delay, like medium, short, long, that kind of thing, uh, you can change that right here, or you can turn it off so it won't spring-load your folders. The next one is labels. I, most I'm, I don't find that really that important right now, so we'll skip over that. Sidebar is the one that I really want to show you. And sidebar is what shows up in this menu over here. So if you want to have your entire computer show up over here on the left-hand side, you can do that. However, you can dwindle it down, get rid of things that you don't think are important, like maybe applications you don't want over there, um, for instance, or downloads. Maybe you don't want downloads over there. 
Maybe you want it to be a real simple look so you can get in, get your folder, and get out. The other thing we talked about yesterday was the shared folders and shared things. I can come in here and turn on shared, and a shared, the word shared will show up right here, and anything <clears throat> that is being shared with me will show up underneath it if I have these checked. The last thing down here is devices. So we talked just a minute ago about having your hard drive show up over here on the desktop. You can also have it show up over here in the uh, finder window. You can have your hard drive show up over, your MacBook show up over here in the finder window. If you have this unchecked right here, you will not see any USB drives that show up that you plug in. They won't show up over here in the finder window. So if you want to see them, you need to check this right here. Same with CDs, DVDs, iPods, and external disks. If you want to see them, you need to check them right here. So that's it for this particular menu in the Finder window. I want to show you one more thing that I think is really critical. I think everyone needs to know about, and from what I've seen, a lot of people don't realize is there. If you come up to View, you can actually show the path bar. So if you open up a file in your documents, and then you open up a file within that file and a file within that file, this will actually leave you a breadcrumb trail so you can get back to where you were. And the breadcrumb trail is always really helpful, really to set the uh, tone for where you are. It, it helps you to know where you are on your computer and helps you to get back where you need to be. So again, that's view. And it's show path bar. Right now I can turn it off by saying hide path bar or turn it back on by saying show path bar. Up here in the desktop, uh, I'm sorry, in the finder window, if you click on your right click menu or you use two fingers to click, do that on the bar up here and you can customize your toolbar. By customizing your toolbar, you can come in here and you can add different things you know the labels we saw a minute ago we can change the label uh, we can add the label to your menu we can use your share right here mine was already up there but just want to show you if you want to share documents that kind of stuff um, we can connect to other computers we can burn disks just from the menu bar up here or we can get a quick look at at something and a quick look is basically it pops it up on the screen just with the click of this button. Now I'm going to show you real quick another way to do that, but uh, these are this is a great way to customize this toolbar for you. And that's actually available in almost every program that you're in. You can right click on the menu bar and customize that menu bar. One thing I didn't show you right here, you can actually make it text only or you can do icons. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click done right here, and I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to open up my documents, and I'm going to open up a folder. And you'll see when I'm in here, if I click on that, I can press my space bar, and it'll actually pop it up onto my screen. Just the space bar. Click on it one time and hit the space bar, and you get a preview of what you can see when you open it with preview or when you open it with the with the program that you need to open it with. So that's a great way to check on if you're looking at pictures and there's uh, very finite differences between the pictures. It's a great way to skip through and find the picture that you need so you can get the right name and you know pulled into the program you need. Again, that's the space bar and it'll open it right up. So that's basically it for the for the finder window. I hope you learned something today. And I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.